Hey guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today I have a grocery haul to share with you, but this one's a little bit different. I didn't get things for lunches, I didn't get things for recipes, I only got things to take out of town. We are headed to Disneyland in a few days, and to a YouTube convention, which I'm super excited about. So, come along with me today and I'll show you everything that I picked up. Okay friends, now believe it or not, this ended up being one of our most expensive hauls ever, even though it doesn't look like there's a ton of stuff, but that's because of our non-food item from Costco. That's right, I finally broke down and got myself my own laptop, one that's capable of editing videos on the road. You guys, we travel so often and I want to keep making videos, but I didn't have a laptop that would work well for editing on the go. So we got this one, this is an Acer. It wasn't super expensive. It was about $6.50 and we ended up getting this one because it was number one on sale and two, it doesn't have a shiny screen so it's not as reflective which is perfect if you're editing videos outside or in the car. So I'm pretty excited to have this. Also for our trip we picked up a big thing of water and I meant to get some of these in the freezer so we could have some cold water but I forgot. And my husband picked out these for our road trip. These are organic coconut bites. They actually are gluten free, so that's good. But there's chia seeds in here, goji berries. They look delicious. They're peanut free. But yeah, coconut and chocolate. You can't go wrong with that combination if you ask me. Now I also got this box of cereal, even though it's not for our trip, but it was on sale and it's one of my favorites. And I really like to put almond milk in this and wait till it gets soggy and then I eat it. It's so good. We also picked up a bunch of bananas and then something special for the road. These are hazelnut chocolate filled crepes. These are definitely a splurge. They're a little bit pricey, but each crepe is individually wrapped, so it's perfect for on the go. My husband also picked out some beef jerky for the road. I'm not a huge fan of these, but he likes them and the kids like them, so we picked up a bag. And then we got lots of new outfits for Griffin. He was outgrowing all of his clothes, and it's supposed to be super hot in Palm Springs. We're going to Disneyland first and then Palm Springs for a YouTube convention. It's supposed to be like 112. So I got him these outfits. It's basically like the shirt and the shorts all together. So this pack of two has this one and the plaid one you saw already. And then I also got this set. I really like the denim one that is so cute. And then the other one has a little whale with a little bird that is so cute. I think he's gonna be adorable in these and they should be really easy because I don't have to find a matching shirt. So yeah, those are for Griffin. Also from Costco, we picked up this box of chips. These have 28 individual bags in different flavors. We've never tried these before, but they look like a healthier snack. And because they're already in individual bags, they're perfect for on the road. My husband also picked out this big container of nuts, and I'm glad to see that he got the unsalted kind because that's my favorite. I'm pretty sure he prefers the salted kind, but I'm glad he got the unsalted. And then the last thing we got from Costco is this pack of Nusa yogurts. I love the Nusa yogurts, and I'm really glad to see them at Costco because they're a better price. These are these smaller cups, which I really like, and it comes with lemon, which is my favorite, blueberry, and also strawberry rhubarb, which is really good. And I'm pretty sure these are on sale right now, too. Moving on to the items from Walmart, you guys have probably noticed some familiar items we pick up every time we go out of town, although I did get a lot of new things to try this time. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Mother's Day gift to myself. I saw this wreath and I just fell in love with it. It has these really pretty peach peonies. Yeah, it's so pretty. This was about $16. So it wasn't exactly cheap, but wreaths last a long time, right? So happy Mother's Day to me. Now moving on to the Walmart items. You guys will probably notice a lot of the same items we get every time we travel, but I also got a lot of new items to try this time as well because we definitely like to save money by bringing our own snacks, our breakfast foods when we travel. So first off, I'll go ahead and show you these breakfast bowls. I get these for my husband just about every time we travel. They're gluten-free and he really likes them. They're easy to pop in the microwave in the hotel. And I also got the kids' favorite. They like to bring these into the park for a quick yummy lunch or as part of a yummy lunch. 
I also give them fruit and other things as well. Definitely sort of a treat item. I also got lots of yogurt. We got some Activia cups in the strawberry and the peach flavor. They like to have these in the hotel for breakfast. And then I also got the drinkable yogurts. These are better in the car because you don't need a spoon. Or we'll even throw some of these into the ice chest and bring them into the park with us for lunch. I also got some of the bigger Noosa yogurts. I went to Walmart first, so I got these. And then I saw these at Walmart. So we ended up with lots of yogurt. But this is actually the new flavor, the strawberry and hibiscus. I'm excited to try that. It looks really interesting. And then I also got one of my all-time favorites, which is the pumpkin flavor. I wish they made the pumpkin flavor in the smaller size. And hiding over here, I have this yogurt. This is actually kefir, and this is what my husband prefers. It's drinkable, so it's quick and easy for him. And this is in the peach flavor. Now moving on to the sort of dinner section, we often like to have dinner in the hotel after we get back um, from the park. And so this time I thought we could try some soup. What's great about these ones is that you can actually take off the lid, stick it in the microwave, and then it's already in the cup. So no mess or anything like that. So for me, I got the broccoli and cheddar flavor. For my husband, I got the white chicken chili. This one's gluten-free. And then I also got a creamy tomato one for myself, and then the chicken tortilla one for my husband. So these ones have a lot of, these ones have a lot of gluten there for me. These ones are gluten-free, therefore my husband. Now for my kids, I picked up some SpaghettiOs with hot dogs in them, which they've never tried before. So hopefully they'll like them. But I have an idea that at least a couple of them won't like them at all, but we'll see. And then I'm really excited to try these. These look super good. I love Indian food. These are like curry on the go kits. It comes with the curry on top or the sauce on top and rice on the bottom. And you just microwave it and put them together. This one is the tikka masala and this one is the butter chicken. And they're both gluten free, so that's great. And then I also got some Easy Mac. This is great for in the hotel. Super portable, super quick, and the kids will love it. Oh yes, and I also picked up a bottle of hot sauce. This is not for our trip. I've just been on a real hot sauce kick recently, and I really like this kind. It's just a little bit spicy, not too bad. So I showed you my husband's breakfast items, but now I'll show you the kids. They requested pancakes, but I didn't want to have to cook pancakes in the hotel room, so I, I'm giving these a try. These are fully cooked chocolate chip pancakes, and they come in individual little baggies, so each bag has three. And all I have to do is pop them in the microwave, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be good, but we're gonna give them a try. And then we also got my favorite, and I'll probably end up sharing some of these with the kids as well. These are the Jimmy Dean Delight little egg muffins in the turkey, sausage, and veggie flavor. These are so good. Okay. And then we're trying something new, you guys. We're gonna try making smoothies for breakfast in our hotel. We're gonna bring our Magic Bullet, which is like a little blender. It's not very big, and it already comes with a cup as well. So these smoothie packs are interesting because in this bag, there's actually three individual bags. So we don't have to make a ton. We just have to make one for whoever wants one. This is the Brainiac one, which has blueberries, banana, avocado, and beets. Hopefully it's not gonna be too beet flavored. <laughs> and this one is the pineapple, banana, cranberry, kale, and lemon. So both of these sound really good. I know my daughter, Lily, is going to love these. Oh yes, and the hotel that we're staying at does have a fridge with a freezer, so these should be totally fine, hopefully. And now on to some snacky items. I got this box of fruit snacks for the kids, and I also got these ones, which are just like fruit by the foot. They love both of these, and I like to hand these to the kids when we're waiting in line, or in the car when they're getting bored, as like a fun treat. And I also broke down and got them a bag of chips. I don't buy these for their regular lunches, it's definitely a treat, but they requested these, so I said, okay. These guys are also for Disneyland. I really like snacks like this. It saves a lot of money because you're not buying the snacks at the park, but it's still a fun treat for the kids. These are really good if you're waiting for parades or fireworks because there's lots of little pieces in there and it takes the kids a long time to eat them. So it's kind of like a way to occupy them while you're waiting. I'm a big fan of Pocky. These are the cookie and cream ones. And then of course these are just the Nutella with breadsticks. 
And yes, I do have some fresh fruit as well, but usually when we travel, I don't bring a ton of fresh fruit and vegetables, and that's because we like to buy it once we get there. Disneyland has an Aldi that's not too far. There's also a Walmart and a Costco, so we usually end up buying more once we get there. Now moving on to the non-food items, you can see we have lots of sandals. It's gonna be super hot, like over 100 degrees. So I got a pair of sandals for Mackenzie, a pair for Lily, some for Griffin. These ones are for me. They're not super fancy, but I like them. And yes, I have really big feet. And then I also got these little white ones for Lily to wear with her summer dresses. And then sort of in the mom section, I got myself a new travel deodorant. This one is so cute and it smells really good. It's a good size, perfect for traveling. And I also got a new pair of earrings. I think these are so pretty, only $4. And you guys, these don't irritate um, my ears at all. Sometimes the cheaper earrings will do that, but I don't have a problem with these. And I also got this set of bracelets, and these are actually all different stones. They're actually really cool. I also got a new mascara to try. This is the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensation. That's hard for me to say. And this is in the waterproof variety. I'm not sure if this is going to be good. We shall see. And I also got a can of hairspray for myself. I use like this whole can in about a week. So yeah, I use a lot of hairspray. And then the very last item from Walmart is this beautiful wreath. I kind of picked this out for myself as sort of a Mother's Day gift, and it is so pretty. I love the pink and the peach, and I love the peonies. It is so pretty. This was about $16. Not for our trip, I just really liked it. Okay guys, that's everything in our haul today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.